Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1414. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1414, start or the finished file so you can follow along. Click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1411, we converted numbers in an Excel table using Power Query to account numbers with the correct prefix. Now, in this example, the prefix was always just going to be 00 dash. So we use the format add prefix feature in Power Query. But Eric, below the comments in the 1411, said, hey, what if you wanted these numbers to be consistently three digits, which means 43 would have to be 0, 43, and 35 would have to be 0, 35. Well, he said, hey, use the text.pad start function. All right, now I've already actually done one Power Query conversion for, from this one table right here. You can see it over in the Queries and Connection window. Now, I'm using the latest updated version of Excel, and so this looks different than in past versions. It used to be Get Data, and then the Get and Transform used to be on the right. But now they have Get and Transform over here on the left, and Queries and Connections, a new group on the right. Now, Queries used to be Show Queries button, and Connections used to be Existing Connections button. No matter, the button we need, if we click in one cell in the table, to get this Excel table into Power Query is From Table. Now, no matter which version you have, find that button and then click. That opens up our table in the Query Editor. Over here, you can see it has the name. That's the actual name from the Excel table. Here are some steps. It was trying to help us with this change type. You can see over here, that is a whole number. We're actually going to need these as text items if we're going to use the text.pad start function. So I'm simply going to change by using the data type icon. I click, and when I click on text, it's going to ask us, hey, do you want to replace? Because over here in this step, which you can see up in the formula bar, integer64.type, it's asking us, do we want to replace it? Yes, I want to replace current. Now we can see type text. With these numbers as text, we can add a column and use our text.pad start. Add column, custom column. I'm going to name this formatted numbers. Come down here to the equal sign text dot pad. And where do we want to pad? The start. Uh-oh, I spelled it wrong. See these Power Query function require that you have the correct case and any dots in the right place. If you don't know how to use a function, you simply go to Google and type it in. Or you could type in text functions in Power Query, and then you can get information about how to use this. Open parentheses. Now we want to do it to our account number, so I'm simply going to double click account numbers. That's the field name in square brackets, comma. Now the next argument says, how many digits are there? Well, for us, there's always three, comma. And what do we want to pad it with? A 0, but we have to put it in as text, double quote 0 and double quote. Close parentheses. Now we're going to have to edit this because that's not quite what we want. That's just going to add those leading zeros. When I click OK, there's the new column. Now we still need 00 dash. You can either come up to the formula bar and edit right there, or you can come over to the applied steps. Click on the gear icon. And right at the very beginning, in double quotes, 00 dash and double quotes, and then use the ampersand. Right there, that will work. We can see up in the formula bar, it's still the old function. But when I click OK, there it is. And there's our formatted numbers with all numbers after the dash showing three digits with a lead 0. I'm going to go to Home. Actually, before we load it, I need to delete this column. So right click Remove. And this column is what we want to dump into Excel. So now we go up to Close and Load. And I'm going to go Close and Load 2. And something new in the latest version. This is completely different than our Load 2 dialog box in earlier versions. This is a merge between Load 2 and the Import Data. We want to put it as a table. If it was the only 
create a connection, or we needed like in the load to dialog box to load it to the data model, we'd have to check it there. But this one import dialog box combines import data and load to. I want to say existing sheet. I do not want it in A9, so I'm going to click the Collapse button. Let's see, E8, click Uncollapse, click OK. And there we have it. If I come over and say, uh-oh, this was actually account number 9, Enter. What? It didn't update. Right click, Refresh. And just like that, it updated. Actually, I could have used the keyboard for Refresh All or come up here and Refresh All. But now I have to come over and refresh this one, too. And this column was done with format add prefix. This was done with a custom column, the text.pad start, and a little joining, just like we do over in Excel with a 00, zero dash. All right, thanks to Eric. It's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. We'll see you next video.